Liverpool's Mason Mount move. Liverpool are expected to be active in the transfer market after the reopened window today as Cody Gakpo agreed to join the Merseyside club this month. With Luis Diaz and Diogo Hotter projected to leave the team due to long-term injuries, PSV Eindhoven's headliner will continue to add depth to the forward positions, while the focus will certainly be on developing the mid-court staff at Anfield. Naby Keita, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain and James Milner's contracts expire in the summer, while Jordan Henderson and Thiago Alcantara are in the final stages of their careers and are unlikely to be part of the long-term project at the club. As a result, Jurgen Klopp will be looking at both the current transfer window and new midfielders in the summer transfer window to rebuild midfield depth and improve the Reds' performance. Chelsea midfielder Mason Mount, a player who has been consistently linked to a transfer to Merseyside over the past month, could be an excellent replacement should Keita, who is earning £120,000 a week from Liverpool, leave in the summer. Connections began to emerge when it was reported that Mount refused a new contract to stay at Stamford Bridge ahead of the World Cup and Anfield could be the perfect new home should the star player wish to continue his career in England in the near future. Hailed as World Class by journalist Sam Incasol, the 23-year-old has scored three goals and recorded two assists in more than 15 Premier League games. He completed 55% of his dribbles, also averaging 1.4 key passes, 1.8 fights and 4.1 dual wins per game. Mount has received a lot of praise since becoming a key player at Chelsea, and former Blue and Liverpool midfielder Joe Cole described the talented player as outstanding last season. He gets credit from the people in the game. I've never met a single former player or coach who didn't appreciate him. He's the best, most outstanding player, becoming one of the most important players in the country," said. The reliable and consistent midfielder could be an ideal player to replace Keita, who was called rusty by writer Graham Riven. That's because Liverpool struggled to offer any consistency during his time at Anfield, with 18 cases of injury and illness hampering the team's ability to maintain usability at his heart. However, the signing of Mount will present a great option for Klopp as they seek to rebuild the midfield at Anfield and bring Liverpool back to where they belong at the top of the table. Moreover, replacing 27-year-old Naby Keita with 23-year-old Mason Mount would further lower the Reds' average age. Liverpool's new transfer policy directly targets young people and tries to build a building for the future. Mason Mount could be part of that plan. Jamie Carragher has urged Liverpool to sign the next Wijnaldum alongside Jude Bellingham. Jamie Carragher wants Liverpool to fix their midfield woes with two transfers. Liverpool icon Jamie Carragher has urged his former side to sign a Jorginho Wijnaldum figure to partner in a potential summer transfer at Jude Bellingham in January. Despite the Reds beating Leicester 2-1 on Friday, their midfield problems were still evident and there were new calls to strengthen midcourt. Jurgen Klopp's side has chosen to bring Cody Gakpo to the club in a deal that could play in midfield but could reach £50 million, which will likely be used as part of the Liverpool front trio. The Reds' funding may be strained after closing a deal for Gakpo and budgeting over £100 million for Bellingham in the summer. But Carragher believes another Wijnaldum is necessary. Jude Bellingham is a midfielder who loves to stand out, score goals and assist and it would be great if Liverpool could get him. But they need a Wijnaldum figure to get stronger in the summer, Carragher said. This midfield is not what you expect or what Jurgen Klopp really wants. It's not just about certain players and a certain age. Because young players are more technical than high energy. I'm talking about Harvey Elliott and Fabio Carvalho, Liverpool's midfield is high energy. It feels like he's not. There's talk of wanting to bring in Jude Bellingham, why not, he's a great player but they also need another midfielder to help them defensively, said. Elliot arrived in the squad for Fabinho on Friday, with the only change from the previous team that had beaten Aston Villa on Liverpool's return from the World Cup. The change prompted Jordan Henderson to take action to become the team's deepest midfielder, and questions were raised about the game's opening goal. After a long ball forward, Kiernan Dewsbury Hall managed to hold onto a shot from Pat Sundarker and rolled past the Reds' defence and Allison. Two own goals from Wout Fays allowed Liverpool to come back to seal all three points, and more than a year after losing to the Dutch, Liverpool are still thought to be missing Wijnaldum in midfield.
He's been an important part of Klopp's midfield for several successful years as his tenacity and work rate set the tone for Gijan Press systems, and Carragher feels that a similar player should be brought into the club. Fiorentina's Moroccan star Sofian Amrabat is associated with his move to Anfield after a highly successful tournament in Qatar where he became one of the tournament's breakout stars. Tottenham has also been associated with a move for the midfielder, but the reported £40 million price tag could put both Premier League sides off. Do you think Amrabat could be the next Jorginho Wijnaldum? Jurgen Klopp needs three things in January as four games will help shape Liverpool's future. After not playing for that long, it feels a little strange to play two Liverpool games in four days. Jurgen Klopp's team is currently four points behind top four places and just eight points behind second place Manchester City. But what do they need to make sure they qualify for the Champions League? January is going to be pretty important for a variety of reasons. Liverpool need improved performance. The win against Leicester was lucky but Klopp should have been encouraged by the fact that his side would likely lose the game early in the season. Darwin Nunez caused enough chaos to force Wout Faze to make a mistake or two, but as with Liverpool and Field, they must be willing to play a lot more, especially in the first half. A better team than Leicester would have punished them and Brentford is one of those away games where they need to play well to get their chance. A midfielder signature is needed. Cody Gakpo walks through the door, but that alone isn't enough to make sure the top four are secured. Midfield still looks light. There is no need to rely on Naby Keita to stay in shape, nor to put unnecessary pressure on Stefan De Jetty. Liverpool could be in the top four without signing, but that will be difficult. Keita, James Milner, and Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain will still need one in the summer when their contracts expire at the end of the season, so it would make sense to speed it up to this month there should be a winning streak. Liverpool could play five times in January, which is not a huge workload in the current climate. After Brentford, they can book their fifth game of the month by beating the Wolves in the FA Cup. They'll potentially be on their way to another local cup, which could be vital to making this season memorable given the league title looks beyond them. Brighton and Chelsea are the other two league fixtures. It's a tough game away from Brighton, but after winning that game and beating their first four at Anfield, Liverpool will be in a better position than they are now. If you lose them, the Champions League points will start to look away again. Finishing in the top four is vital to what they can do in the summer. January will be crucial in determining the outcome of the entire campaign, not just because of the need for another transfer.